What's up, cooks? It's Wednesday. Will it explode? I have in front of me a set of classic visions cookware. And you might say, what is this? This is literally like a quasi glass ceramic cookware that's clear. And this was popular in the 80s. I always wanted a set of these. One came along and I snatched it up. So today we're going to try to cook in this classic Visions uh, cookware. We're going to make some tacos and we're going to see, will it explode? What's up? It's Wednesday. Let's try this out. So I know you're probably like, Amy is crazy, right? Putting glass cookware on a cooktop and cooking with it, right? It's ceramic. Who cares? Right? You're asking for trouble, right? Um, Visions is suddenly becoming popular in the U.S. It was launched during the 70s in Europe, and it was really popular there. It came in the early 80s to the U.S., and it never really like totally took off. Um, I think a lot of people are justified because they are afraid that it's going to blow up on the, on the, um, stove, right? You, you won't want to overheat glass like on a direct flame. This vision is made out of some kind of quasi ceramic glass that is translucent. So it is glass, but it's not glass. I really don't understand, like... We can ask Mark. He might know this. Mark might know what this material is made of. But it's sort of gone crazy on TikTok uh, recently. And one of the reasons is when you boil in it, it's really neat because you can see everything that's going on, right? So this set is original Visions. It, it was made in France. Now it's being made in China. So if you happen to find some that's the vintage, not vintage, right? Because it's not like a hundred years old or something well, like that. 20, even 25 years Classic, old. right? Uh, visions. If you happen to find some and it's the version that's made in France and you can tell that because it's actually written right here. It says vision corning, um, France, right? <laughs> Um, so it was made by Corning or Corningware, I guess. Um, so this set includes a skillet and it has the classic, uh, visions, um, sort of boxes down at the bottom of the skillet. That's pretty fun, huh? This is a 3.5 liter like stock pot. This one is 2.5 liters, so this is a saucepan. And this piece here is both a saucepan, this is one and a half liters, and it comes with its double boiler. So you can make hollandaise, you can make, you know, frosting, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate milk, chocolate, all that in here. So, as long as it doesn't blow up on you, will it explode, right? We're going to put this to the test. We're going to use this here. I'm going to saute some onions and we're going to get some rice and beans going. And then we're going to make some chicken taco meat in this. We're going to have us some tacos. So can the vision visions cookware make tacos without right? We're going to find that out right now. So let me get my ingredients and we'll get the show on the road. Okay, let's give this a fry. You can turn it on. I'm not turning it all the way up. Got your face shield handy? Trust me, if this thing cracks or makes any kind of weird noises, I'm jumping back. Put some olive oil in here. I'm gonna, whoa! I'm gonna what? saute some onion. <laughs> Are you that paranoid, boo boo? Got your little goggles out? I got quite a bit of oil in there. Alright. I might saute the rice a little bit. What's the temp, Bill? Yeah, the oil is somewhere around 240, 250. It's, it's climbing fast. Of course, it could be glass, too. Just the oil is around 270, I think. 
They say it can go up to 800 degrees. Yeah, I mean, do I, <laughs> do I dare put this into the flame? See what the flames went out? Yeah, air. Yeah. I think I just killed your thermal pen. Nice. Well, now it says high. Nope, 500. So the thermal pen only goes... Okay, get back. The thermal pen only goes to 500. Okay, let's put the onions in. <laughs> Why do I want to jump back? Is scared like I am? Woo! It's cooking! Hasn't blown up yet! Look at that! I'm cooking in glass! Okay? Look at that! Boom! Right? <laughs> Okay, so our onions are looking pretty good. I rinsed the rice. I'm putting two cups of rice in here. I'm gonna saute the rice a little bit. Seriously, I'm cooking in glass here, guys. <laughs> I'm kinda digging it. It's almost like- Actually. A, it's almost like a Pyrex, you know, Yeah, cup. like I'm cooking in a Pyrex managing cup. <laughs> I was wondering though, one of the reasons I wanted to do tacos is we're gonna cook the chicken in the saute pan. I'm wondering if you're gonna get browning on it. Ooh, little, it's toasting the rice. I hear a little sizzling over there. Nicely. Nice. I'm impressed so far. I'm gonna put in a can of pinto beans. Because pinto beans are my favorite. So let's put some water in here. Ooh. I think I can, should make this into some chicken broth. Maybe give it a little flavor. Ooh. See if it's stuck to the bottom. It's not, actually. Nice. I'm digging this. I'm cooking with the glass cookware, guys. <laughs> it is kind of cool to be able to see what your food looks like in there. I'm going to pop in... Uh, tablespoon or two of some better than bouillon. Give it a little flavor. I'm not going to put any tomato in it. I can see from here how well you're stirring. You can see me stirring. Yeah, it's like looking at a quarter. That's kind of cool. It's like looking at fish moving around. It's like being in a fishbowl. It is. I see your rice, I see your beans, I see water, I see all of it. Fishbowl cooking. What was that on Avatar? I see you. <laughs> <laughs> so let's bring this up to a boil. We almost have full on boiling here. Look at the beans dancing around. Look at the rice dancing around. It's kind of neat. You get to see what's happening under the surface. Yeah. You don't really get that in another pan. You don't get to really see what's going on. No, it's just too murky. Okay, so I moved the rice over to my regular cooktop. So that's on a smooth top cooktop. So we will see, whoops, how that goes. We are going to cook up some onion and bell pepper to go on our tacos. So let's heat the oil up a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and put some onions in here. So our onions are starting to sizzle. Yay. 
Ooh. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Boo's just waiting for this to uh, separate, right? <laughs> Either we have an explosion or we have Paco. One or the other. <laughs> So I'm going to let these get a little translucent before I put in the uh, bell pepper. So these onions are sautéing. This is kind of interesting because I didn't think we were going to get any browning, and we actually are. So I'm going to put in some bell peppers, and we're going to sauté those a bit in glass. Yeah. We do have sizzling action going on here. Mm -hmm. Smells delicious. So you're saying not only is it sexy looking, it's sexy <laughs> sounding as well? Yeah. Okay, so it looks like our onions and bell peppers are out, are done. So I'm going to go ahead and put them into this little bowl here. They look amazing. Amazing visions. I do see a little bit of browning on the bottom of the pan, so that's going to be interesting about how... That cleans up. Ooh, I'm gonna put a little bit more oil in here. And it's time to cook our chicken. So I just have some boneless, skinless chicken breasts here. And we're gonna go ahead and put it in here. Woo! <laughs> okay, so we got our chicken in here. And we need some seasoning on this chicken. Seasoning. And so I'm going to put some salt first. Because chicken doesn't have salt, right? We're going to put a little bit of fresh cracked bat papa on this here chicken. I made myself a little bit of rub. Just go into your... Uh, Spice cabinet, put some chili powder, some granulated garlic, some, I have Mexican oregano and cumin in here, and you have fajita seasoning, right? <laughs> or just buy fajita seasoning. Huh? Or just buy fajita seasoning. Or just buy fajita seasoning. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna salt it a little bit more. Fajita seasoning it a little bit more. This I feel like I gotta turn up a little bit. We'll be back when this chicken is done. Okay, this chicken is looking really good. I'm gonna go ahead and put our bell peppers and onions back in here. Yum. I'm gonna give us a little shot of cilantro. Oh yeah. Because I love cilantro. <laughs> wow, that just. That's fresh cilantro, not <laughs> cooked cilantro. Yeah. So let me get our ingredients out so we can make our tacos. Okay, we're ready to make our tacos. I have all kinds of toppings here. So we have a taco shell. We got some chicken in here. <laughs> yum, yum. Looks... And these are tacos, not burritos, so you can't put a ton in here, boo-boo. He's trying to tell me, to make a taco. the master taco maker, how to make a taco. Can you believe that? Um... Let's see, what do you want in your taco? Uh, I'll take some rice and beans, cheese. We'll give you some cheese. Cheese looks good. Cheese. We'll give you some tomatoes. Tomato. Fresh chopped. Yes. Tomato. You can put some lettuce on here. How about that? Joy. Joy. 
And, whoa. You going to put some extra cilantro it's on it? Big, you want some extra cilantro? Just a little bit. Okay, you got it. You can put a... Toyota. You can put a... a is, is rice and beans on the taco or on the side? On the side. Oh, so this is a platter I'm getting. You're getting a platter. Ooh. <laughs> rice and beans look pretty good. Um, I'm very surprised so that we did you, not have any blow-ups. So how do you rate the cookware making the rice and stuff? I mean, I liked it. It was... I, it's not like using some you know, stainless steel cookware where you can get the heat out of it, you feel comfortable with it. It's not like that. Um, but they sizzled. I mean, you, on medium heat, they got hot. Yeah. We did got sizzling. We did. Here's some butter on your rice here, Bill. Yeah. And I'll make my taco. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some fresh chopped avocado. Because that's how I am. I always have avocado on everything. Um, right for that, right? Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Chopped tomato. Give me some lettuce. Beans are tender. A little bit of fresh cilantro. Mm -hmm. Yum. And. Scoop of rice with beans. Scoop and a half. A little bit of butter. Yeah. Or a lot of butter. Yeah. Now oh, it's time for me to take a taste. Okay, cook, so it's Wednesday and we cooked with some glass cookware. I was somewhat confident, but not totally confident that we wouldn't have an explosion. If you get this, I wouldn't overheat it. I would cook it on medium. Um, I think it was kind of neat and fun to watch it bubble. Um, I don't think it's particularly fantastic cookware. Like On medium, the temperature is about 500 and change. It's allowed yeah. 900. Now on high, who knows, right? Kaboom! I think I would rather cook in stainless, cast iron, something like that. But... For fun, we have a good time, and I probably, I probably will use it in the future. So let me go ahead and taste what we have here. We have a little bit of rice and beans. You could put tomato in here. Mmm. Your taco with uh, cilantro tastes pretty good. Rice is nice and tender, not soggy or anything. It actually turned out really, really good. And let's see the taco. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That, that chicken or the <laughs> chicken seasoning was pretty good. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. So I hope you enjoyed it. It's Wednesday, and I gotta go finish my dinner. Visions cookware. It didn't even explode. Have Bye. a great day.